Hey guys, John here with RealTruck.com. Today we're going to be installing the Raptor 5 inch oval Nerf bars onto a Ram Mega Cab truck. We've got our 5 inch Raptor oval Nerf bars. These happen to be in a wheel to wheel length. They're also available in a cab length version. Ours are black. You can also get these in a stainless steel. They come complete with all the mounting brackets, hardware you need to get them on your truck. So let's get started. We've got everything all set up here, guys. So the first thing we got to do is we got to remove our, our body mount bolts. And we're going to take this very front one out. And then we're going to take that very back one out so that we can put our brackets in here for our, our new Raptor boards. Now that we've got our bolts out, we can go ahead and put our brackets on. What we're going to do is we're going to use our bolts that we have here with a washer and a lock washer on them. But we also have this rubber washer that we're going to want to put in place up here on the back side of our bracket so that way it, our brackets don't squeak up against our bushings. Now that we've got our old bolts out, we can go ahead and mount up our, our brackets to hold our Nerf bars on. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up our bolt. We're going to use the longer of the, of the two bolts for the back. We have a lock washer, a flat washer, and then the rubber washer. And what that rubber washer will do is it'll keep, the, uh, keep this from squeaking up in here. And uh, all in all driving you a little crazy listening to it squeak. Now when we put these up here, we're just going to snug them a little bit down and leave them loose. Now guys, we're in the, the back of the vehicle on the driver's side. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and peel this tape up here. You can just discard this tape once you peel it off there. And then we're going to take our T-bolt and we're going to slide it inside that slot that's underneath, that was, we found underneath that tape. And this part can get a little tricky because if you drop this, uh, fun times are abounding. Take your square plastic washer and you want to press that on over the bolt because that'll hold that in place so that it doesn't fall down inside the body. And uh, once we have that in place, we'll go ahead and grab our rear bracket and attach that. Now that we've got our T-bolt in place, we can go ahead and install our, our support bracket. But what we want to make sure is, is that we've got this detent part over here facing towards the front of the truck. This bracket is the shorter of the two brackets. The longer one goes in the front. We'll go ahead and put it up on there. And we'll put our washer and our lock washer on. Then we'll put our nut on there. Now once again, everything we're doing here, we want to leave this stuff all loose until we have everything attached. We'll go ahead and attach our bolt to the bottom. And then we'll go up to the front and attach our, brake, our bracket brace to the front. Now that we've got the back bracket on, we'll go ahead and put our front one on. We'll peel this piece of tape off here and we'll insert our T-bolt. Now, a little trick for you guys, if you go ahead and just start this square washer on there, it makes it a little bit easier to deal with. Gives you some place to hold on to while you push it down in there to secure it. And once that's up there, then we'll take our bracket. We'll put our bracket on. Flat washer and lock washer. And our nut. And once again, leaving everything 
loose so we can move it around. Go ahead and put the bottom one in. All right, our brackets are all installed. On to the next step. Now guys, that we've got all of our mounting brackets on and set. Uh, remember we still have everything all nice and loose so we can move stuff around. What we want to do is go ahead and put our, our Nerf bars on. Now you have these rubber gaskets. You want to take these and place them up on top of your bracket. Basically so you can see where it goes. Just lays right up on here. And then you have your mounting spots here that you're going to line up. And then you have a hex head style of bolt that you're going to put in here. And once again, we're just going to hand tight these because the next thing we're going to do after this is tighten up all of our brackets and we may need to adjust our board back and forth. So we want to leave that loose just yet. Got our boards on. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go back through and all these bolts that we left loose we're going to tighten them up with the exception of the two that hold our board because we're, once we get all these tightened we'll want to adjust that back and forth to get it lined up on our door. So let's get this done. I should note so that you guys know the first one you want to tighten up is the one that holds the main bracket on and then after that we'll tighten up our, our support brackets. So I'm going to run and tighten up the back one and then we'll tighten up these support brackets and adjust everything. Now that we've got all of our brackets tightened down all nice and secure where we want them, it's time to do a little adjusting here. Basically what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at our board see where it's lining up and uh, kind of get it so that it's even on our fender wells in the front and back and then we'll tighten everything down. Okay, I'll go ahead and tighten up the, the back ones and uh, that will complete our installation of our 5 inch oval Nerf bars from Raptor.